All right, guys, we've got a item that doesn't really have anything to do with an arcade. Again, other than decoration, this is a Vendo 83 Coca-Cola bottle machine. This was one of the six ounce bottle machines from the 50s. This is not the one, one of the super sought after ones like the 44 or the 56 or the 81, but it's similar to those and it's still somewhat sought after. Actually, I've been out of the Coca-Cola collecting game for like 20 years, so I don't know if things have changed. But when I used to be into these old machines, I know this wasn't like the one everybody was willing to kill over. But it's still a Vendo 50s Coke machine, and it's still got the embossed Coca-Cola. And this one's in really good shape. The front of this thing is gorgeous. Um, it is... I. Um, the, the per place I picked it up told me that it was not working. It was a project and I have not even plugged it in to see if they're right or wrong. I just, I trust them. Um, it's got the key, the key to this door. It does not have the key to this door and I didn't bother drilling it. Um, you'll have to drill that door. It looks okay inside. I think this is a restorable machine. I think this mechanism works. Um, little honeycomb bottle holder. It should hold 83 bottles. That's why they called it the Vendo 83. It's got the instructions here. I mean, this is basically, uh, what do they call it? A survivor. It's like as found. It's not been, no one's tried to restore it. Nobody's like hacked it up or done anything to ruin it. It's just old and crusty. Um, Looks like, uh, I don't know if this was, was the power cord or if this went to something. Uh, actually, it does have a power cord with a plug. I mean, we could plug it in here on the video, but boy, I guess what's the worst that could happen? It's not going to, if I can get this cord, it's like wedged underneath here. I mean, the yeah, the condenser fan does move. Well, I can't pull it out that way. Uh, all right, I'm going to have to set, let me set this down. Try and get this cord out of here. Uh, cord feels a little brittle, but not brittle enough that it's like breaking in half as I move it. Probably the original cord. Ugh. Okay, it goes into that box. I don't know, it looks pretty crusty. I'm, and it's got these two loose exposed wires here that I don't even know what they're to. So I'm not real excited about plugging it in. I also don't see the thermostat. And there was this, here's like a piece of broken wire up here. I don't know what that's for. Let's see. Huh. I don't know. I don't know what that went to. Boy, that compressor looks old and rusty. Should we do it? Yeah, why not? All right. Let's see what happens. Uh... I'm going to use a power strip though, so I can plug it into the power strip and then turn the power strip on. Okay. Let's see what develops, as Kodak would say. Make sure it's off. Okay. So. We're gonna flip the switch and watch and listen. I'm gonna get back a little bit. I'm not sure what would happen, but. Hmm, the condenser fan is spinning. Compressor sounds like it fired up. Ooh. 
Is that cold air? You've got to be kidding. I refuse to believe that this is working. Someone's playing a practical joke on me. There's no way that this thing is cooling. No. No. Yep, that line is getting cold. I cannot believe it. All right, well, I guess the compressor is working. It's even kind of quiet. It's purring. It sounds like uh, one of the cats I've got out at the house. Huh. Yeah, that's cooling. You want to feel it? Jeff believes me. He doesn't want to feel it. Wow. Well, it's uh, very well made from a very good time in American manufacturing. That's true. Made in America. I just saw on Google that Joe Biden's, one of his accomplishments is getting more things made in America. I was really surprised to see that. So thank you, Joe. Um, all right. Uh, we've got a Vendo 83 with a working compressor. It's still, now it looks like the door, uh, see the door sags down a little bit. Now when you close it, that pushes it, pushes it up. But yeah, it's, it's not perfect. This still needs restoration. But, you know, it looks good in your rec room though, even if you don't have the thing plugged in and you aren't using it. I, that's Kind of why I bought it. I thought I'd use it for decoration, but I don't know. I've got other Coke machines.